Mommy. What's wrong with me? What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. This is going to be the review for The Prodigy. The Prodigy came out this weekend. It's directed by Nicholas McCarthy, and it stars Taylor Schilling, who I think is from Orange is the New Black, Brittany Allen, um, Jackson, Jackson Roberts, or Jackson Roberts Scott, rather, who I think he plays Georgie from uh, 2017's It. We have Colm Fior and Peter Mooney. Now, essentially what this movie is, is it's a combination of... If you've seen the first Chucky movie, it's a combination of the first Child's Play, a little bit of Orphan from 2009, uh, The Omen, The Good Son. Uh, there's like a s several films that this movie is basically mirroring and basically just carving copies of. Uh, not that that's what it's set out to do. There's just nothing really all that original here. And there's nothing new being brought to this like sort of subgenre that we have in horror involving scary kids typical run-of-the-mill type of deal uh that comes out early in the early port portion of the year before the good stuff starts coming out you know during the summer and whatnot there's nothing really to this movie outside of it there's some um, some very good performances particularly from the mother in the film taylor uh shillingham or whatever her name is i can't really uh pronounce it correctly if i'm pronouncing it wrong i apologize uh from her the kid who is in it Jackson Roberts Scott who plays Miles in the film he does an amazing job switching in and out of Miles and going into this dark center for this other character he is portraying that is occupying the body of Miles uh, the father in the film for what he's given and that go just to not to get sidetracked but just to go into one of the cons uh, the father while he is like sort of like a background character he gets more character development than the mother who was put into the uh, put into the main scheme of things? She's like the focus character. She's the main character. Her and Miles are the two main focus characters. But she is very underdeveloped compared to the father, who really isn't there for much outside of just being the father, and he doesn't really contribute much to the movie because he's just kind of gone at a certain point, and the movie never really does a does anything to make him feel important to the narrative. But yet he gets developed more so than the central character in the mother who is her name is sarah and then the father's name i think was john so john gets more character development than sarah i thought that was rather a rather odd decision seeing as how john wasn't even focused on as much as sarah um the acting was good the cinematography was good uh i'm not really too familiar with neil mccarthy as far as like a director is concerned I, I might have or nicholas mccarthy right i might have seen some of his other works uh, but i thought for what 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 i saw on screen the way he shot certain sequences and the way certain things played out i thought that was amazing uh or well well put together the downsides to the movie fall in the narrative because the narrative is kind of all over the place there's a few plot plot holes or questions rather that you have that never really get answered the movie kind of stumbles over itself towards the towards the middle and it starts becoming too predictable uh, not that that's one of the flaws but it's just like you're not really going to be engaged in anything when you know how it's going to play out because from the very beginning of the movie they make it they make it clear how what you know is going to happen you kind of can just put it all together but then they're still telling you the the problem here is that they're giving you everything but they're still bl blatantly explaining it word for word in so so much detail you're showing us everything you don't need to explain it right along with us like i feel like this movie tried to hold the audience's hand too much you're trying to explain way too much in this runtime rather than building on these characters uh but the kid in the movie i think his performance was absolutely amazing jace or jackson roberts he jackson scott rather he did phenomenal he was amazing going in and out of playing miles and switching over into the other person who was in the body he has some very tense and um very intimidating moments in the film and you can just the way he 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 plays the role so so amazingly you can just see see it like the switch he makes the switch so abrupt and you can perfectly identify when he's making the switch from miles to the other person and it's like he's he's doing it with such ease and it's very it's very fun to watch because for such a for a child actors you don't really get too many child actors these days that can do what he's doing right here uh, 
but the biggest downside to the movie was its narrative there's several things that go unanswered uh, a lot of things could have been left unexplained seeing as how they were being being explained as we're seeing them on screen i think that's one of the most annoying things about a lot of films that come out today they want to explain too much to the audience they want to hold the audience's hand uh they don't want to let the audience figure out what's going on not not to say that that's really how every movie should be but a lot of people they need to start paying attention to what they're watching versus having the movie come out and explain everything word for word uh not really too much to say about this movie because there's there was really nothing new here that it was bringing to the genre it was just a nice solid decent mix of child's play orphan the good son um all of that good stuff if you've seen those movies and if you enjoyed those movies uh, i'm gonna say you'll want to go out and check this out you don't i wouldn't say that's something you should rush to theaters to go see if i were to rate it on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give it a six for the performances for the direction for the musical score that was that was accompanying some of the scenes and how it perfectly added to uh, the tense the tense nature and some of the scenes that were on screen, uh, Jackson Jackson Scott his performance as Miles was amazing. Uh, Taylor Schilling she did amazing as well in her little role as the mother. That's my review on the Prodigy. I'm sorry I didn't really have much to say on this movie because it didn't really bring anything new to the genre. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Nothing memorable here. Uh, definitely don't need to go rush out to see this in theaters. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. If you've seen the project, let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, subscribe and turn on post notifications. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know what movies, news, or uh, TV series you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video, which will be uh, this Thursday or Wednesday when I go and see Happy Death Day to you.